guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel oh my god i feel like it looks so dead and i have like a little undershadow because my eyelashes but i didn't do any face makeup and i'm about to do it now so let me start hello welcome to the vlog today i'm going to be doing a photo shoot with my friend zaria we reserved a little um photo space and i'm bringing three outfits to take pictures in so i can just batch content because i know that i have to go back to work and I want to get as much content as I can at one time. So I'm going to do my makeup. I just curled my hair. I wand curled it. So because wand curls usually last a little longer. Oh, so I did that. So right now I'm just going to pin it back and we can get started. So currently it's 548 and we revert, reserve the space for 630 and 7. So we're going to be in there for an hour and I have just a little bit of time to get ready. So let's go ahead and start. Okay, I am going to vlog a tiny bit, but this is mostly a get ready with me. So that's what you should prepare for. So I definitely did my eyebrows earlier and put my eyelashes on earlier. I didn't put on any face makeup because I had class. So I wanted to look a little presentable, but... I was wearing a mask and I don't want to like mess up my makeup so and do any but I'm just gonna fix up my eyebrows a little bit because I want them to look fresh of course I'm using this LA girl dip brow pomade I've used this one for years literally so the best one if you ask me sometimes I don't even use pomade I use like a wax eyebrow stick and powder which I actually really love but that looks really dark sometimes this is what I'm doing today I just filled in a little bit of it and I'm gonna blend it out a little bit with my spoolie. I'm gonna have to use my cute little heart mirror, but I'm gonna hold it here right in front of the light. So now I'm gonna take my e.l.f. putty primer and I'm gonna do some face makeup. Um, Originally, I um wasn't doing much today. I've actually been doing a lot of stuff recently, like school-wise and event-wise, going out. And if you watch me for a long time, you know I didn't used to do that. Like tomorrow there's like a whole like flash fest thing. It's supposed to be big and fun and it's outside. I'm going to that too. Like that's gonna be fun. I've been seeing people post about it all day and my friend asked me to go, so we're going. But right now I'm just putting on my primer and I'm gonna have to mix my foundations because I just bought this ColourPop foundation. And don't get me wrong, I love it, but literally, but literally I freaking got the wrong color. It's a little bit too dark for me. It's a little orangey, so I'm just gonna mix it with something else and we'll figure it out. Right now, I'm just gonna put a little bit of this foundation on the back of this eyebrow, I mean eyelash holder. And a little goes a long way. I told y'all before when I reviewed this foundation. Oh, Kitty is so cute sleeping in the middle of the bed. And I think I'm just gonna take some of this really white concealer and just kind of like add a little bit to it. And then I'm gonna mix the two in. This is how it looks, by the way. Hopefully that was a good mix. <laughs> and now I'm gonna take my sponge and apply. I'm trying to go kind of light with the foundation to be honest, because I'm gonna be putting on concealer and stuff. I don't wanna look too heavy and cakey, you feel me? That white concealer didn't do anything, so that wasn't a great idea. But pretty much foundations, my main foundation goal is to just make sure my skin blends into one shade for real for real when i apply this foundation with a sponge it doesn't look the wrong color when i apply it with a brush it looks well in general it looks a lot better on camera but when i apply it with a brush it looks a lot darker and just not the right thing so i guess if i apply it with a sponge i can make it work and i'm also gonna put just a tiny bit on my forehead i don't usually like to put a lot on my forehead because it can look a little crazy because my forehead has like some tone things they're two different tones pretty much so i usually just leave it alone but this is a photo shoot so we're going full glam girl well soft glam to be honest because i'm gonna put on some eyeshadow later but the eyeshadow i'm gonna do is green so i'm not gonna put it on at the start because it doesn't go with every outfit i'm just gonna add it on later when i do the outfit that it goes with which i'm gonna do last. okay foundation is done now i'm gonna go in with my ColourPop <laughs> pretty fresh concealer i have the pretty fresh foundation too these are new i just got these i mean i've used like ColourPop concealer and stuff before and i really liked it so and i like these too I'm gonna go on forehead first and just blend out the middle. I feel like that looks better. I feel like I just blabber and talk all through my foundation. <laughs> like, y'all can honestly just watch a little bit at this point because it's not that interesting. So 
so there goes my foundation and concealer i usually add a little bit of the super white concealer on um let me think i guess i'll add a tiny bit of it just because it gives you a nice cute under eye but i'm kind of in a rush if you can't tell because i have to go pick up my friend and we have to go to a place so i'm trying to rush and finish getting ready Like, do you see the difference? You probably can't see until the end. <laughs> now that I'm done with all of my foundation and concealer, I am gonna go in with this putty bronzer that I got from e.l.f. It's just like their putty blush, putty primer. I don't know, you can see what kind of things that I like makeup wise, because I get more than one thing out of the collection. So I'm gonna take this. And this little Real Techniques brush, I'm pretty sure it's Real Techniques because Real Techniques always looks like this. And I'm gonna just add a little bit. Yeah. And this is cream. So since it's for a shoot, normally like on a regular day, I would just wear it as is and I would put like a little powder over it, but I wouldn't want it to be too dramatic. But I know it's gonna be a lot of lights and stuff, so I don't wanna be washed out i guess so i'm gonna go over this with the powder and i don't bronze my nose or anything because it's like just kind of big and fat i don't really contour my nose i don't do anything like that so i'm just gonna do a little bit of putty blush and then add the powders on top i'm not gonna lie this freaking blush is really nice but that's not what i was gonna say i don't remember what i was gonna say Okay, now we're gonna go set with powders and I'm gonna add a powder, everything, powder bronzer, powder blush, and face powder to set. Okay, so first I'm gonna go in with the Black Radiance Contour Palette and a little contour brush. And I use some powder in the middle, the one that's pretty much gone. It's like a great bronzer shade for me. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I went a little heavy. I went a little heavy with this. I'm gonna try to blend that out. See, this is a really good powder. It's really pigmented, but less is definitely more. Like, look. You know, it's giving a cute drag, beautiful, you know, full effect, full effect. But, just currently it's not working. So I'm gonna blend it with the bottom of this. Fuck, did y'all see what I just did? Oh my god. I'm gonna have to fix that. Try to... I pretty much just made like a little patch that I didn't mean to make. Okay, that's the best it's gonna get at this point. But after that, I'm gonna go in with Aloha Honey. This is ColourPop 2. The perfect black girl blush. I've seen a lot of girls use this um, on TikTok and they really, they really hit it on the head with this one. If you like like that peachy kind of blush look, this is like perfect i know it looks like i'm putting on a lot but since i'm about to put on face powder it'll it'll work out and i usually okay so when i was a little short story time when i was in middle school and high school i used to really love the airspun powder everybody knows the airspun powder is super popular and it's kind of good but using it now that i'm 20 kind of sucks i'm not gonna lie <laughs> It just leaves me a little bit of a white cast. I mean, it smells good and it's a fine powder, but it's not gonna work for me. So instead I use the Sephora Translucent Setting Powder. I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender, dip the other side that I didn't use for my face powder in it, and I'm gonna just press it. This is why I try to stress a bright under eye because these eyelashes are so big. I don't want my eyes to look super droopy, if you know what I mean. So I think that definitely helps. I'm just gonna use this powder here. And here. Set my whole face with this powder. I think that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good to me. A couple areas to spot treat, but for that, I'm just gonna add a little bit of powder and I'll be back. After all that powder, I take a little face brush and I just, I just dust away the excess. 
And I probably am gonna go in with a little bit more blush. Oh my god, this mirror keeps like doing something. I'm probably gonna go in with a little more blush. And then, that's pretty much it for my face makeup. I did it pretty fast, not gonna lie. It looks really like washed out on camera, but in person it looks a lot better. I don't know why. I guess maybe like the background in my room or something, but I'm gonna cover my eyes and spray my setting spray for it. And for that, that usually brings the makeup a little more back to life. I'll tap the first layer in, the sponge. I hope you don't pull away any product when you're tapping with the sponge. Cause... Yeah, there we go. And that is my face makeup finish. I'm going to really stop like the get ready with me part here. And I'm just gonna do like a little mini vlog or come me to the photo shoot from now on. Cause I finished my face makeup and I hope you like it. Check out these clips. You see what it's giving, right? Okay. Okay, y'all, I'm just telling y'all, like, I'm about to head out. I packed my little photo shoot bag right here, if you can see it or whatever. And I'm gonna head out, and I'll see y'all at the place. Hey, y'all, we're in the CBA building, and we're about to go in the studio and take pictures. Sorry, I'm from my spring. behind us that we're about to be working with i'm gonna try to show y'all a little bit as we go because we're kind of on a time crunch so ah! it is what it is but yeah i'll keep you updated So I'm finishing up the shoot. I just wanted to show y'all a little preview because like, yeah, I wanted to give y'all a little preview of us inside. Sorry, I just got dressed in her cute outfit for her pictures. I don't have my shoes on yet, but <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna show y'all when we're done. Hey guys, so we're about to finish off my pictures in front of the white background. Um, I might take some out in the building, we'll see. But pretty much, that's it. We're in here, it's a wrap. But Zarya's taking pictures now. I convinced her to. And yeah. Can I see her? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey guys, we're outside still taking pictures. Zarya's taking some really cute ones over there. I'm just sitting here. I just took some sitting, but yeah, that's it. Hey y'all, so I'm back home. Me and Zari hang out. We went to Cane's and got something to eat and had a really good talk. But this is going to be the end of the video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again in my next one. Bye!